A few people have asked me how I um, built the rotisserie that I used to mount the wing in the paint booth. So um, just wanted to do a quick video on that. So here's the wing and it's completely supported by this converted or modified engine stand. And it's got a little spine out front for balance. That's just a piece of 16 gauge um, commercial metal stud, which is actually one of the purlin oh, leftover purlins from this building. So I use that. Um, and then I also reinforced it on the inside. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's just an old oak banister underneath there. So that's pretty solid. Doesn't flex too much. Uh, on the end here, just obviously just a little moving dolly that I got from Harbor Freight. And I put these outriggers on here because I was afraid it might tip as I was rotating it. And these actually fold up. So they're out of the way. Really don't think I needed that, to be honest. Um, I put 50 pounds of plate weights on the front, or what I guess you would call this, the front of the engine stand. As far as the engine stand itself, yeah, it's Harbor Freight. Uh, I modified it with just a bunch of scrap steel I had laying around here. I added an extra, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 inches of steel to give it some length so that when I rotate it, that trailing edge doesn't hit the ground. So that's really the only modification I made to the engine mount itself. It's a thousand pound, supposedly rated to a thousand pounds and it works pretty well. Um, I'll show you here what I had to create a bracket to use. So this piece right here it's part of the, it comes with the engine stand. So from here back, that's all part of the engine stand. This is a heavy piece of 5 16 angle. And it's a big, heavy piece. I think it, when, I, when I picked it up or when I got it, it was about three, maybe four feet long. And I've chopped it up into sections. Honestly, this was left over from when we built our house. This was going to be a lentil for one of the doors, and it was just left over. Um, so I just had it laying around. And so I chopped it up, and you can see here, this plate here mounts to this plate. So I've taken a piece of the angle and just mounted it to this plate. And then I took two other pieces of angle and made the holes in there that match the holes of the wing spar. You can see there. Just used some old grade five bolts, ran it through uh, the wing spar, and um, there it is. On this side, I welded a couple tabs so that I could get this piece here um, attached. So actually, if you were to take this apart, this piece here will separate from this piece and then this piece, I'm sorry, this piece would separate from this piece if I needed it to. So there it is and it's on the bottom as well. So those angles are doubled up and stacked on top of each other, top and bottom. So you can see there, that's really about it. Uh, I'll show you how this thing rotates. I put stops. What I did is I cut, see if I, you, this cutout right here. <clears throat> so when this folds over, it hits the stand and doesn't, it won't rotate any further than that. So this, this piece here acts as a stop. So when I rotate it, I, it originally stopped here and I just kept cutting away, cutting away till I got it to where I wanted it to be. Um, and then on the other side, the stop is I had to add this little piece of square tube that just acts as a stop for here. So let me demonstrate how this thing rotates. So I'm going to 
I've got a pin here that sits in the middle and I just take it out and it just relaxes um, the wing. And so if I want to rotate it, I can just simply take this bar and turn this to wherever my holes line up. And for painting on the paint booth, that's how I would paint it on a vertical.